Hi folks, my name is Ermit in the Forest. This is my unboxing of Nox. This is very good action role-playing game, Diablo clone, that takes place on the fantasy world of Nox. Uh, its hero, Jandor, managed to save Nox from evil necromancers then, uh, who wanted to control it. So he defeated and destroyed them, trapped their souls into an orb with the help of a very powerful act, an artifact called the Staff of Oblivion and then sent the orb to another dimension which appeared to be our Earth. Uh, the only necromancer that survived was an infant uh, girl called Hecuba that Jandor uh, didn't kill but he gave her uh, to some ogre village for uh, raising. Well, now what happened? Uh, Hecuba actually grew up and she learned about her roots, about her being uh, the necromancer. So she turned evil and proclaimed herself the queen of necromancers. And by magic, uh, she managed to get the orb back from Earth to Nox. You are playing as Jack, the owner of the orb on Earth, who used the orb as a fireplace decoration. And uh, while Hecuba uh, cast her spell, he was teleported alongside the orb uh, to Nox as well. And now, of course, uh, if he wants to return back to Earth and uh, save the land of Nox, he has to defeat Dekuba and to recover the orb again. Recover the Staff of Oblivion that was shattered into three pieces by Jandor before he uh, went to seclusion. Well, let's take a look at the box art. Here it is. Okay, let's turn the box around and see the backside for some info about the game and pictures from the game. Okay, now let's open the box and see what is inside. Of course, this is the game itself. It comes on two CDs. This is CD1. This is CD2. Okay. Uh, what's next? This is reference card. Here are the system requirements and table of contents of this reference card. Some info about installing and running the game. Controlling the game. Here are the controls, actions, so the basic tips how to play the game. Getting started, the companion CD, okay. Technical support, troubleshooting. Yeah, that's all about troubleshooting, modern problems and stuff. Here we get to customer services, contacts. Uh, 
online help okay so this is the reference card and there is this interesting thing that's colored interface of the game screen layout 2 this is screen layout 1 and also here is the default controls so keyboard layout and mouse okay and then there is of course the game menu that has unusual format as you can see some picture oh here are the table of contents I hope you can read it okay so and here we get to getting started entering Nox character development moving around activating switches objects equipment defeating enemies here we get to spells conjuring if you play as a conjurer you can play three classes here I think one of them is the conjurer healing saving and loading games something on multiplayer so this is still about multiplayer here we get to the interface options again options setting up multiplayer games there is some stupid plane flying above me I don't like it okay Everyone thinks he can fly a plane nowadays, everywhere, even in the forest. Well... So, this is the control panel. Access tab. Well, and more and more info. Book of Knowledge. Shopping in Knox, buying, selling, quick reference, so some icons, wizard spells. Oh, here are the spells, yeah, and their effects. Armor. And here are some monsters of the game world. Imps, scorpions, trolls, and history of the land of Nox. And the start walkthroughs of characters, so some tutorials. 
advertisement for Westwood website and oh here are the credits take a look at the credits some place for notes if you want to make while playing the game okay and that is all that was in the box i thank you very much for watching this video